Okay, so we are back, and I am just here with Chrissy. We haven't discussed Chrissy's childhood yet. Chrissy, how was your childhood growing up? Honestly, um, it had its good times and its bad, but more towards the righteous side. And I had a lot of health problems growing up. Um, I was born with alcohol syndrome. My mom was on drugs real bad. Um, she was working full time. Um, we got involved with children's services, I guess, when I was three. She, um, my dad wasn't in the picture. Again, that's another horrible story. Um, okay, tell me the story about your dad. Um, I'm, my dad was sentenced to death by the state of Florida in 94. Um, he was a serial killer down in Florida. Um, he was robbing um, people as they were driving up to the ATMs. And he killed a, the first um, one I know about, he killed a family of three. Um, this guy was taking his little boy and his wife to the kid's birthday party. Um, the kid had just turned three years old. The mother was pregnant and him. The guy pulled out his wallet to get his ATM card out and realized he forgot it. And my dad robbed him and he robbed him for $2 and killed a child and the mom, the dad, and an unborn child. The whole family for two dollars. For two dollars. And did it? Is that what he got caught for? Yes. What about before then? What uh, what else did they pin on him um, that he did? I am not. Uh, I know he's got several murder charges. Um, he did. Um, like again, I said he was sentenced to the death by the state of Florida in '94. Um, it's like really hard to talk about because I really don't talk about it to nobody because I was adopted when I was five. Was you ever on the streets as a child? Yes. How long? Um, I'm not for sure, off and on. Um, I know I was taken from my mom when I was three. I was adopted by my um, adopted mom when I was five. Um, I would say maybe a year, off and on, before I was adopted. Then by the time I was 10, I was back on the streets. So you're, you're accustomed to being on the streets. This is nothing new to you then, um, right? Yeah, it's nothing new, but honestly, these days, Honey, um, I can't do it no more. I'm getting old, number one, and number two, it's nothing like it used to be. There's so much more danger out here. There's so many more people getting killed, so many more homeless people getting um, hurt and other stuff that they didn't do. So it's like just something I can't do anymore, and I can't live this life. It's like I was able to as a younger younger child, and then I was an adult, but now it's like really, really hard. You're, you're ready to get help? You mean that? I mean, I don't even know if I need it help right away but I'm just ready to start over start fresh get a place and um, get away from all the toxic the toxic people the toxic things just toxic negativity was your mom abusive um my mom was um not physically abusive but mentally abusive and um, later on that will come with the adopted parents and the, um foster parents and stuff like that okay what, what was your occupation? Um, what kind of work did you do? When I first, my very first job, I was a waitress. Um, that in, and some of y'all might not remember, and some of y'all probably do a lot. Um, down in City Center, I worked at a um, restaurant called Cafe Oasis when I was 14. Okay. And then I've had multiple jobs, but they was do more towards um, waitressing and telemarketing. I've also worked for um, the... Um, Paralyzed veterans of the United States. I worked for them. When was your last job? Do you know what um, year? Honestly, I am a freelancer, so I do um, multiple under the table jobs. Um, I do um, side jobs all the time. So my last actual world job, I can't even say because I I do volunteer work too down for like um, the Hemp Fest and um, Gay Parade and stuff like that. I Comic Cause. I do security for all of them, so. Okay. But my actual last paying paycheck job was um, versus Big Wing back in 2000. Also, to those who think raising $300 for a homeless family for them to spend is a lot of money, it's really ridiculous. Like, I'm going to quit my job, and now I can retire within a month of doing YouTube. So if you can't see the purpose of this channel, then I'm sorry. And I'm not going to respond or even read it anymore. You're just going to be blocked. So you, yeah. you're not going to be even seen on this channel because you don't even know me. You don't know what I'm out here doing. 
and you don't and you have no clue so I mean I don't know what it is you got going on at home if you're just sitting around miserable but I mean get on indeed.com and start filling out some apps and honestly I could say if it wasn't for Jaren I wouldn't be where I'm at today to where I'm ready to start over I met Jaren and it's been a blessing and they're cool and it's awesome that I get to meet all you but the negativity yeah. really needs to stop on everybody's behalf of the producer, the people that are doing the interviews, please stop sending out negativity responses. Yeah. We need good, positive results to get us built up and to help us make others right. realize what's going on. Well, I'm glad you said that, Christy. Thank you. I you're mean welcome. that, for real. I see the difference in you, too. You're up, you're sitting still, you, you can talk, you, you understand, and thank you. And I'm going to wrap this up, and until next time. Thank you, guys.